My son asked me the other day, Dad, what are clouds made of? And I had to concede. I answered with a heavy heart. Linux servers mostly, son. This time on the show, new developer portal for API management, four vCore instances available for Azure SQL Database, and Azure Service Fabric gets an update of all the things. You're watching Azure This Week, the show that knows what clouds are made of. APIs or application programming interfaces are absolutely everywhere. It is what makes the internet able to deliver cat pictures and animated GIFs of 1960s Batman to you. Azure has an entire product for just this purpose, well, delivering APIs, that is, not just kittens and Batmans, called API management. You can host entire complex APIs within Azure, ready for developers to consume. A new developer portal experience for API management is now in preview. It is built using the Jam stack, meaning it uses JavaScript, APIs, and markup, Jam, to make it more performant, secure, and easier to scale. Also, it uses APIs for the API portal, so that's kind of neat and wholesome. It is also open source and hosted on GitHub and can be customized and modified to your heart's content. Comes as a managed or self-hosted incarnation and is completely DevOps friendly. No DevOps harmed in the making of this. Try out the new portal using the link below. Four vCore Azure SQL Database Managed Instances are now available on Gen 5 hardware for the general purpose and business critical service tiers. This is aimed at letting you size your Azure SQL Managed Instances more appropriately to what you're doing with them such as eliminating unnecessary database consolidation on a single large size managed instance. These new four vCore instances are a nice addition to the existing eight vCore instances and should allow businesses to easier migrate across to Cloud SQL. Go Cloud, go! Azure Service Fabric version 6.5 is being rolled out across the globe, reaching an Azure data center near you very soon. There's a bunch of updates with this release, including Service Fabric Explorer can now show images uploaded to the image store. You can add replica level Service Fabric health events for stateful services. Users will have much better visibility into state of seed nodes that are unhealthy. A new Service Fabric application disaster recovery tool. Support for .NET Core applications published to Linux Service Fabric clusters. And much more, that's a lot. <laughs> Do note that the Service Fabric tooling that is built for Visual Studio will no longer be supported for version 2015 after this release. For the full list of features, bug fixes, supportability, reliability, and performance improvements, see the link below. Next week, I come to you from the other side of the world in a special edition of the show. Also, check out our brand new show, Kubernetes This Month, with master container expert guru, Nigel Poulton. He even lives in a container house managed by Kubernetes. As we say on the A Cloud Guru team during our weekly prayer, to the Kronenbergs, seek and you shall cloud. So see you next week and keep being awesome cloud gurus.